want identity. But I would like to draw the attention to this one. The court to before the court rises. Lord, in petition 565, there were on Sabbatary orders granted by your brother, Mr. Justice Chacha Moita, on the 18th of October. But they expire today at midnight. My Lord, the purpose of the conservative order were to preserve The purpose of the conservatory orders were to preserve May I continue my note? The conservatory orders preserve the substrata of the petition and the interlocutory uh, orders application in order for the court to have time to consider Not <laughs> to preserve the substrata, to accord the court time to hear submissions of the weighty issue of law of the constitution. So my plea is that you extend those orders because the word will expire tonight. Can you get one response? Just one response. Yeah, Madam, very briefly. In relation to the question of the, of the conservatory orders, the court will remember that we also filed an application and a certificate of urgency on the question of conservatory orders. If at all it is now the agent position that the issue as to whether they can be extended or not should be brought before the bench, we are willing, ready, and able to agree right now. Right now. Review of the facts that are before the court. The law, insofar as the refusal is concerned, and the well trust in Kenya in the decision of Rai Group Limited versus Pimento and Associates. We have uh, exhibited this decision in the list of authorities filed before the court. Permit me to set out what was reiterated in that decision. The real question is whether reasonable appreciation of bias was presented, which would make an informed and fair-minded person seized of all the information surrounding this matter and the impartiality required of judges by their constitutional or apprehend bias on the part of the bench. Now, what is the information surrounding this matter? Let us start with the case of uh, Honorable Justice uh, Freda Mugambi. The charge in respect of which recusal is sought is that she was an LLM student of Professor Kidiki Akira. It has been demonstrated by facts which are not in dispute that the Honorable Judge was not an LLM student of Professor Kidiki Akira in the Moi University or any university, but instead her LLM was obtained from the University of Birmingham. It is as simple as that. Issue number two, that the issue number two, that Madam Florence Onwoch was appointed to a board by His Excellency President William Samuel Bushman. <coughs> what are the facts? Madam Florence Onwoch was appointed to the board by Soipani Tuhu. This, my lady and my lords, are the facts upon which <coughs> information surrounding this matter are to be determined. 
The next authority which we rely upon is the case of Elivan Mines versus Lee. And the principle set out in that case is as follows. In this context, the reasonable person is not someone who is hypersensitive or unduly suspicious, but rather a well-informed, thoughtful observer who understands all the relevant facts and has examined the record and law. Now, insofar as Honorable Justice Freda Mugambi and Honorable Justice Eric Ogola is concerned, has there been demonstration on the basis of a reasonable person who has examined the record and the law to demonstrate that there is bias, real or perceived? That is the question that this court must answer. What about Honorable Justice Andrew Moreno? The charge is that the Speaker of the Senate, Honorable, the right Honorable Amazon King, attended his but, but, but lady and my lords, there must be meaning to the term learned friends. There are those who have written, including a writer by the name Jess Brailler, a book titled Lawyers and Other Attacks. And there are those who have also written, including Feroz Norji, practicing an honorable profession. Indeed, we are learned friends. A judge is first an advocate, and second, a judge. A judge does not reside in isolation. And if I may just say, for example, I, I've, had, uh, I've had a cup of tea with Justice Anthony Moreno. I've had a cup of tea with Justice Eric Ogola. I've not been fortunate enough to have a cup of tea with Justice Ray Well, they are my friends. But I appear before this course, and they rule in favor or against me. It is in that context that we must examine is the charge against Justice Anthony Murima, one based upon information in the mind of a reasonable person who has reviewed the record of the facts and the law. And if your lordships and my lady will return a negative answer so far as these questions are concerned, then you must make a decision whether to recuse yourself or to continue handling this matter. It is my humble submission, based upon what you say, that there is considerable doubt as to whether a case has been made out to warrant recusal. We request this court to dismiss this application. I'll allow my colleague to utilize the remaining two of our minutes to say something.